Hey everyone, Aaron here, Fast Forward Race Cars. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Doing a weekly update here on the Champagne Supernova. Did a few things this week to it and uh, getting it ready so we can get it on the rotisserie to do the paintwork. There's a few things I needed to do to be able to do that. And uh, let me show you what we've done here. One of the things that we did was uh, mounted this fuel cell. And what I wanted to show you how I did it was I did it a little bit different than I normally did. I actually made a, a, a frame that will bolt in and out with the fuel cell. And the reason why I did that is because if I ever want to take this fuel cell out, make this more just more streetcarish, I left a stock mount underneath for the stock tank. And now I'll be able to put the stock tank back in and then um, these bars won't be in there. Then I'd just be able to remove them and they'll just be the tabs there. But I thought that was a nice little touch that we did this week for, for that. And then um, and then plus it'll be easier to paint, uh, you know, when we do paint this. Another thing got done is the push pull switch, like I was telling you. For the battery disconnect that's done got the battery mounted here and also got the fuel pump mounted all this stuff is all bolt on so when we paint you know we'll be able to take it on and off and all the brackets and tabs will stay there so we're, we're rocking and rolling on this thing uh it, it's getting closer and closer by the week uh, what i'm actually working on right now is the seats i'm mounting the seats right now and i actually had uh some kirky seats here in stock from an old car that i had and I'm mounting them, and I'm going to actually mount them to uh, a portion of the stock mounts, the stock seat mounts, because what I want to do maybe in the future, if I again, if I decide to just make a total street car, is I want to put a bench seat in it. Um, not right away, though. Like I said, I want to be able to have those mounts there, put the seat in if I want to. But if, if you know, until then, I'll race with the, with the Kirky seats, and, you know, obviously it'll be safer with, with the Kirky seats. So uh, once I get the seats mounted, then I can go ahead and do the seat belt mounts for the seats. And um, then after that, what we'll do is we'll roll right, right into uh, the wheel tubs and the, the rear firewall and um, boxing in where the, where the ladder bars are. Um, another thing I got to do too is put the dash back in it, but the dash is already fit. I actually have the dash uh, fit prior. I replaced the top portion of the dash because it was, it was rusty. But the dash is clecoed right now, so when I go to put it in, all I got to do is put the clecos in and spot weld it in, it, and it's done. But uh, what I think I'm going to do is, before I put the dash in, I think I'm going to paint all this probably just up to like this, maybe to the to the seam right there, and paint all that underneath because it'll, it'll be real hard to uh, to get to uh, once the dash is in. So we'll paint that first, even though uh, this will need to be painted, and we'll just mask that off, put the dash in. Put it on the rotisserie and then uh and then paint the rest of it but uh we're looking real good here man uh it's uh not not too far off now man we just uh keep plugging away and keep doing what we're doing and uh, that's how that's how we get it done you know there's been many nights working on it that uh tired just don't feel like doing it but man that's the only way you're going to get done you got to push through and uh just keep rocking till you get it done but uh yeah, man, that's that's pretty much it for uh, for this week's video. Um, like I said, a lot of little things done, but the little things add up, and uh, it takes takes a lot of time. Um, one other thing that I did do this week too is I made all my uh, mounts for my window net, and uh, that's something on the next video that I'm going to show you guys. The window nets that I do, I refined it over the years. I, I mean, I've, I've I've installed hundreds of window nets. It seems like, and and um, I never really liked in the beginning, you know, years ago when the way they were they you know they were mounted. And I kept refining the way I do it. And so what I'm going to do is next week, I'm going to show you how I do it. And the way I do it now is real slick, simple. And I actually make a drawing and I have the window nets custom made to the shape of the chassis. And uh, I'll, I'll show you guys how I do that next week. But that will be done next week. And um, yeah, man, we're going to roll right into the tin work. And uh, that should go pre pretty quick too. Um, but uh, we'll just have to see see how it goes. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks everyone for uh, for watching, and uh, you know everyone that subscribed already to our channel, and uh, we're really digging it, man. So uh, thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next week on the next one.